I wanted to leave the internet anyway, so. Yeah, so he'll, uh, I think I'll, uh, let me make a prediction. A month and a half, maybe two months. True. Two when months. you target specific channels, you cannot do that. You cannot say, hey, go look for TOS violations <laughs> on a specific channel. That's harassment. What do you not understand about this? Is this really a typical concept for you? This is what makes me wonder if he's really like a, a call center agent. Like, don't I you don't have know. to have some I level of competency? Like, don't you can't? Don't you have to like interpret protocol? No. You can't even read terms the, one, of the one I worked at, the way you got hired was you basically filled out an online form, then you had to make a phone call. And see, you it. basically talk to a robot on the other end, and it records what you're saying, how you sound, and they call you in for an interview, and you basically get a job. Is Res Rhetoric still in the live feed? Because I have to get yeah, him. He's, yeah, he's watching. Yeah, he's watching. Yeah, Reg, right will you now. get me later? Because he did mention your name. So. Um, oh, I sent him the link. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I sent him so, like the whole so, hangout uh, file. I will get a JD2, and the three of us will will um, draft some things out. Well, and, I'll get uh, out, and he can come in. Okay. We, might we have be an open work. spot. He's at work, probably. We have an open spot, though. And the, oh, this, this is just hilarious. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So, how should we prepare for the debate Sunday? Uh, nothing. Phone met. <laughs> phone met till after midnight. <laughs> yeah. Actually, prepare. Nope. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, Annabelle. Uh, see, Annabelle oh, spot off. He's like, she, like, he's crying about harassment while sitting in a live chat about a person he's accusing of harassing him. This is comedy gold. I can't write this stuff, Anna. I really can't. This is like people are like, why do you bother with with, with Ronnie? Because it's comedy gold. He is funny. He's so... walking balls cow on this. I mean, if... to think that I that he actually he, he's actually harassing me and not seeing a problem with this. I, I just <sighs> this is what happens when your mother doesn't love you. Uh, I, I really yeah. like the fact that uh, 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 they didn't, <laughs> didn't, rem didn't, <laughs> didn't remember who true was. Hey, did, did, he, did he file a D I don't remember. Did he file a DMCA against Reds or did he? Did no, he... it was Matt Dillahunty against G Man for doing exactly what he what Ronnie just did with taking fucking the atheist experience. <laughs> oh, so they, did they file a DMCA against him? Yes, did that's what. That's what. Remember G Man? Remember G Man didn't have. A, he couldn't go live on his channel. Oh, yeah, for, that's right. Yeah, for like, yeah. yeah, that's right. So, you, so, you that, 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 you know. wait, that was, the, okay, but that was, that's what got him uh, to that strike? Yes, because he took the, he took an entire episode Why of the did he just take <laughs> Because he thought, what, you <laughs> I, I am dissolving. You don't remember that? He thought that he could fight them. Because he, he yeah. kept saying that he was going to take uh, Matt Dillahunty to court, and that Matt Dillahunty was going to have to fly all the way to New Jersey so did he fire to go see him in court. Did he fire? No, he tried. No, no, he no, 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 no. Gotta... Yeah, no, and I've I've heard this from both sides. I, yeah, what, I, what actually is the story? Can we give? Tell me, because yeah. I'm okay. I'm so, curious. so he had what what, what G Man was attempting to do. I'm going to give him a little credit here. Um, what he was attempting to do was to to um, broadcast his own call, and he was broadcasting himself while he was waiting to get on. But of course, in doing so, he was simulcasting. A, uh, a a show that is broadcast on a pay-per-view service. So when it was detected on YouTube, um, they his channel got um, got a count a, a copyright strike. Um, he bitched and whined about it, and uh, I can't remember what what his first response was. But I know that 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 he then was in conversations with the uh, with the lawyer for the Atheist Experience and their their production company. Uh, um, the, the lawyer explained that this is a serious thing because these guys make money off of it and you can't use their thing to make money. G-Man explained he doesn't make money in his his. The lawyer then explained to G-Man, it doesn't matter if you're making money or not. You're using someone else's content, so stop it. Now that we understand that you're dumb as a sack of hair and that you just <laughs> literally didn't understand this stuff, we won't proceed with the action. In fact, we will even contact YouTube and tell them that, that we've cleared up the misunderstanding and removed the strike on the following conditions. And that is you take down the video, you don't make any effort to file counter notification to have it reinstated, and you don't do it anymore. G-Man uh, agreed, and, and as a member I was talking before about demand letters, uh, the term that a lawyer might use for this is G-Man ceded to their demand. So they honored their end of it, and they um, contacted YouTube and, and uh, revoked the flag. 
Now remember, G-Man ceded to the demand. G-Man retells the story like he won, like he beat this lawyer. They had this fancy, you know, 25th story lawyer from Austin, Texas, and G-Man himself managed to take him out. When in fact, if you hear it from the other side, it was G-Man went, oh, I didn't know that. Sorry, I won't do it again. Say so, okay. You can guess which version I heard. So, so it was. Yeah. It, but you said flag, but it wasn't. Uh, they they got him on a DMCA, right, for downloading the entire video. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I should have. Said, did I say flag at any point? Yeah, in that? I heard flag. I, yeah. Okay. I, I I recall saying strike, and then maybe another time I said flag. Any occurrence of what I just said, if I use the term flag, it was not not a flag. Let's be clear about that. It was a um, a copyright strike. Oh, I think I think when I said that they they removed the flag, I meant to say they contacted YouTube and said we were withdrawing our claim, our takedown notice. And immediately then the YouTube Copyright Office, which is not the two terms of service You're enforcement right, people, right, not... it's the YouTube Copyright Office. When they receive a retraction of the takedown notice under DMCA, um, they um, reinstate the video and they remove any strikes that are, that are on the channel. So then G-Man promptly took the video down. As I say, he was ceding to the, the, their lawyer's demands. And that's why he doesn't have any um, copyright strikes on his account. But or, or alternatively, G-Man won. G-Man like totally outfoxed this lawyer. <laughs> I have a feeling he gets seated a lot. Well, you know what's funny? You know, oh god. You know what's funny is if, if you know what's funny is if Ronnie did decide decide for some whatever strange reason to try to DNCMA one of my things, um, there's something in the condition that you have to actually check off, which is a good faith. Um, he basically has violated the law again. Because this is not of good faith. This is what's called vindi vindic or, uh, vin being vindictive. vindictive. Yeah, this is retribution. Um, that's not good faith. Oh, I've forgotten that Redline filed a DMC against True for doing this exact thing a while back. I completely forgot about that. But then my memory in the, these fucking events. I, I thought I, I thought Red did too because he had uploaded a video for the very same thing and he filed a DMC. And then, uh, but did Ronnie fight that one? Because I know he lost. But... Um... I don't remember. Yeah, well, Steve, you got Yeah, he doesn't understand. You can't take the whole video. You can take excerpts. That's derivative, but you can't download the whole thing. I don't know why he seems to not be able to grasp that concept. Steve, you're gonna have to watch out because it's gonna be you and all of you know everyone in here against the clown power posse. They got See, some brains over there. Oh please! Like okay, he's in the chat saying that he could care less if they if they both go, but then he's over here talking about he's going to make a video to for corrections. Like so, if, if on the one hand, if you don't care, why would you need to make a video d defending the whole issue? Like it, that doesn't make sense. I don't because, know. All I gotta do, all I gotta like, do is fire a counter notification for fair use. Boom, done. He has no, he has no, he can't do a counter notification for fair use. He didn't do a derivative form. I That's what he's out. not grasping here. I figured it out. He has dual personalities. Yeah, well, that Dumb must and be dumber. Yeah. yeah, I think he's got two personalities. My mom has three. They're all bitches. Never mind. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. See, I was going to try and segue into, uh, well, not at hog ties here, um, at Mithra Dates. How do you guys think that we should go about uh, making this, like, collaborative effort uh, to provide some science-oriented videos um, you know, basic chem, basic biology, basic mm -hmm. physics, so that we can then um, use that as a launching pad into some of the discussion we're having about ATP mayonnaise and, uh, you know, bacterial flagellum and so on and so forth. I think it's a great idea, <clears throat> for sure. Um, I think you might be the most well-placed for that. Um, I'm a little removed from the basics, honestly, unfortunately. You still remember telomeres? Yeah, yeah I was. I was I'm up for that. I was Bluetooth into another. I had to jog back to unmute, but yeah, I'm up for that. Okay, so I'm I'm maybe planning to do a video on the evolution of ATP synthesis one day, but uh, I I don't have much time to do it, frankly. Yeah, I mean, I can come up with like the format and the stuff like that, just like animating and, and all that kind of shit. Uh, I, I really don't know anything about any of that. Like I, I can, I know how to create funny content and informative content. And since I am still at the undergrad level, I, I guess I am, you know, the, the closest uh, person that could relay a lot of the information in a, in a way that's, I guess, conducive towards our goal. Um, I think that one of the biggest challenges that I don't know like if I just pick one person, let's see, did 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 RSC? I don't know his level of knowledge on it, or Dyslexia Jones, or 
um, Mr. Crus or f fat, uh, I'm about to say faggot, I'm sorry, fat, fat photog or, um, you know, but on Trevor the basic Lund. level that, so that would allow people to engage in discussions that we have. <clears throat> well, yeah. And I want it to be basic, but I want it to also be succinct. So if I'm, if I'm going to go over immunology, uh, excuse me, I want to go with microbiology. I want to touch on immunology so that people have an understanding of how vaccines work, but I don't want to go too far into like uh, like uh, perforins and stuff like that because yeah. I don't think it's you know necessary for us to uh, talk about. You know what would be a great topic as far as immunology would be actually how we make antibodies because it kind of touches on the um, no new information in the genome topic too. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, that's, that's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for, like the, those little um, you know, tidbits there, and then we can expound upon that. Yeah. The, the, like way, that. The, the way a, a new antibodies are made in the body is uh, excellent shuffling, right? Or something else? Yeah, that we literally make, make new sequences and yes. just trying to uh, randomly hit on something. You know, it's a pretty cool process. There's the whole, you know, the junction. There's like three parts to it. It's, it's, almost, it's almost like evolution. We, ge we, ge we randomly generate a population of immune cells, and just the ones that work are selected. Yep, and and the ones that don't, and and the ones that react against us are selected against. Yes. And then have like homework or like some kind of video to watch after you guys do it, and then talk about have like a ten minutes the next show where you talk about the video you recommended maybe. <laughs> Well, that's what I was thinking of, like directing people to SciShow and, you know, uh, Crash Course Biology, um, like specifically with um, con the, the content toward a bit of organic chemistry so you can understand. So if I say that, um, if we're talking about what makes, uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, what makes a pathogen resistant to antibiotics, specifically penicillin, I understand the mechanism. I can tell you that um, this pathogen produces an enzyme called beta lactamase. You don't know what beta lactamase is. You don't know why it's called beta lactamase. You don't know what a beta lactam ring is. That that's the kind of stuff that needs to be explained. Because me telling you, well, it baked, it breaks the beta lactam ring basically. That that does not, you know, I, I I can go into a bit about how this enzyme I, I think it um i think it fucks with like a, a functional group or something like that maybe a hydroxyl group and then it it makes the molecule unstable and so then it can't do its job by breaking down um oh, i can't remember what is it what is the the, the the membrane to uh pathogen uh oh, i'm blanking on it what are they called bacteria have cell membranes made of something lipid bilayer lipid no it, well it's it's a bilayer but it's, a, it's it's there's a name for it shit i'm really blanking on it a bilayer oh hold on it's a, it's a name hold on it, it's the different it, it's, you know some some pathogens are um uh, gram negative and gram positive yes yes yeah the, the, the gram positive have a are you thinking like you a glycan kind of thing? Another room, glycan? Or the lipid, lip, lipid they're polysaccharide? Gly they're glyc gly 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 cancer. Sorry, I had to, you guys are doing this. I had to run back from another room with my Bluetooth here. Peptidoglycans. Peptidoglycans, they're the ones. Yes, so the peptidoglycan cell walls. So what 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 does that even mean? Stop jargon bombing. You know, that, that's what's important. Like we, okay, if we want to mention the the peptidoglycan, um, okay, hold on. Type I think that. that's doable. Well, sugar start with a, a, a you know a, a dimer, a monomer. Start with simple sugars, then build them up to more complex sugars, to, you know, carbohydrates. That's how you'd probably go about doing that because, you know. Yeah, I got to go back to the other room. This time I'm taking my phone with me. That's maddening when you're in another room and you're just shouting at your own headset that's muted. 
<laughs> yeah, but that's the, I want. So I wonder, should should we just start with basic chemistry, um, kind of like what Ronnie did, but you know, uh, right? But go from basic chemistry to you know a bit into uh, a bit into physics, or should we just save? physics for just another time because I don't it may, it may not be conducive to the conversation we're having now maybe with flat earthers but for for the stuff that we talk about with uh Kevin and C Brown and True and G Man I, I don't I think... know but we're going to have to pick this up I think at another time guys um I've got to go lay down I've been up all night I worked on a video just to find out like I said that the video software I was using was a trial version and I'm going to have to figure out how to Put it into a different video editor and, and, and try to make something out of it at least. But I'm okay. not doing it now. So I'm going to we go to just, sleep. I'll be back. I'm going to sleep for about twelve hours, I think. So twelve hours, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, what time well, is it now? We Three. need we need a we need a hashtag or something for this project so people can write down what they think and what they want so we have something to go on. And then have it bio, easily access. Bio for booty. Bio for booty? Yeah. Oh god, okay. When people start making a hashtag, you're gonna be the one looking that up. Yeah, hashtag bio for booty because you know you you you're smart and you know biology. You get the chicks. You know? Well, that's not yeah. wrong. Isn't it? Isn't it a bit sexist? No. Mm -hmm. it, it, men have bio, know the if women know the biology, they get dudes. Unless they're lesbian, they get chicks too. I'm equal opportunity, man. I don't. I, I don't care. Let me let me check to see if that hashtag is even taken. Because if that's, I'd be surprised. But um, bio for booty. Well, while you're doing that, in the moments. In the moments before Steve wraps up, too, I say I, I um, what I've noticed on a lot of the really effective educational channels on YouTube is they don't do a ground up approach. They don't say, well, here's going to be lesson one. We're going to talk about the most basic thing. They find bite sized pieces that are kind of standalone. And I mean, if you think about where you have to start to actually understand biochemistry, you immediately realize your goal is not to get people to understand biochemistry yeah. because it literally takes happen. years. Yeah. But there, there are single issues that you can sort of take out. Um, I mean, I, I'm really inspired and, and, and outright envious of channels, channels like Minute Physics and Minute Earth. Do you um, ever watch AK Lectures? Which ones? AK Lectures. No, should oh, I? Oh, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. If you, if you and Dragon have not seen AK Lectures, this guy is a biochemistry physics guru. He writes stuff on – he has like 15 minutes for each one. He writes this stuff on the board very legibly, very succinctly, explains it, and goes through every process you can imagine. You want to know about what glycolysis is? Oh, here you go. Oh, you want to know about uh, restriction endonucleases? Oh, here you go. Oh, you want to know about uh, general relativity? Oh, here you go. I mean, AK Lectures, this guy is fucking amazing. I'm looking at you can, literally, you can literally graduate with a college degree just by watching his lecture. How do you think Damn. I know this shit? I watched, I like I've watched so many of his lectures right now, and I've watched them more than once. That's my cheat thing. I've given you guys my secret. AK Lectures, man. I'm not joking. Damn, he has a lot up here, too. Like, he's no joke. Yeah, dude, and he's good. I, I literally watched, uh, I watched, like, I don't know, the first, like, 10 just of his biological series. Um, and that's, like, the first, you know, first-year college course. Some of it's even second year. Well, yeah, uh, like, and I'm like, this actually makes sense. I actually get this. Okay, uh, spank me with a link there in the uh, external things. I'll pick oh, it up when oh, I get I back. I do everything computer. for you, don't I? The peripheral. Uh, here, I'll put it in the side chat too. But do you want or to go outside? Outside? Yeah, I'll put yeah, it. Yeah, dude. I, okay, just, I, if you watch one of them, just tell me, Steve. You're right. This is gold. This is this is a gold mine of information for biology, and he's pretty good at physics too. But the biology, dude, I mean, you name it, he can fucking do it. There we go. I, I don't know there. if he's a PhD, but he obviously is a lecturer because he knows his shit. He knows, yeah. I used to use Khan Academy back when I was in the service. I, I would actually better than Khan Academy for biology. Yeah, like I, really I like is. the way I like the way Khan, you know, can break stuff down. I would sit out uh, at the the you know the entry control point that I was at. And I was sitting, listening to these lectures, and then have like I bought like little books off of Amazon, you know, to practice before I actually got into school, and uh, they were helpful. But you know, this guy looks like he has uh, some quite quite the content. So I wonder if we can. What's the name? Uh, uh, AKA lectures. lectures. I, I put the chat in the outside. Yeah. Metabol metabol metabolism. Metabolism of amino acids to pyruvate defects in the urea cycle and hyperammonia. Ammonium urea. I don't even have to pronounce that word. 
embryo and development, biology, cell cycle and reproduction, enzyme, enzymes and cell respiration, um, introduction to nucleic acids, introduction to hemoglobin and my, myoglobin. I mean, God, this guy, look at this, intermolecular and molecular forces. There we go. We should take that one. Properties of water and hydrophobic effects. There you go. That's like. Hey, did you guys ever see the uh, the couple of videos that they did on uh, Khan Academy where uh, related to evolution and, and speciation events? I've seen, um, yeah, but they're very basic, but I've seen some. They're yeah. very basic, but the thing is, even though yeah. they're still like seven or ten minutes long or something, he spends that. a good four minutes of it saying, I know people have different views on this, and I don't mean to offend anyone's views. But, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. And, oh, yeah. And, yeah. And he got pounded in the comment section. Like, why'd you, just Why'd you pounded. prefix it like that? Yeah, no. actually, Ronnie no, 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 made no, no, a no. video. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And, you, know, you know what videos I like? Biointeractive. I think I've heard of them too. Yeah, Ronnie did make a video about that. Okay, hold on. Redline wants me to say something on air. It's a true yeah, please. No, he's still watching. Yeah. Tell Ronnie if any of my video, uh, if many of my vids get hit because of his shit, it will be my boot to his ass and his channel. Yeah, well, that's that's what I said too. I mean, the first first time I see any indication I've been flagged, um, I'm going full bore writing letters to YouTube. I know exactly how to do it. Um, I know exactly how to phrase it, and I know exactly how to document it, and say this person is retaliating for a DMC violation. Mm -hmm. um, it is it is a concentrated concentrated effort that he's had to try to flag my channel. I'm feeling harassed. I'm feeling threatened by this person, and you know, bye bye. And so one one he needs to learn to to, 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 to to turn the other cheek. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me point it out to you. If I didn't want if I want his channel gone. I wouldn't be telling him this. I would just be done it. I would have been done it and know he'd lose his channel. Um, or at least have a pretty damn good shot at losing his channel. But I don't want his channel gone. So I'm giving him every opportunity. But I know he doesn't know how to course correct. He Once he goes down a path, he falls headlong and he's just screwing himself. Oh, right? Fiona, is, Fiona just said that uh, Ronnie has moved all of his videos from the True Talk TV channel because he is expecting a DMCA. <laughs> If well, knew, a DMCA, if he, a, a DMC doesn't ruin his channel. What the fuck is he? He, he doesn't. He gets a strike. That's it. He doesn't lose his channel on a DMCA. If he didn't do anything wrong, why would he need to do that? Because he knows I DMCA him. But that just means that the video gets a strike. I mean, his channel gets a strike, and you you're limited a little bit for a couple of weeks or whatever, and you have to be careful and blah blah blah. But um, he doesn't. The channel doesn't get taken down. Oh, right there. Wow. Right there. <gasps> That's funny. No, 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 sorry. Fiona's misinformed here. Um, uh, he only had one video up on that channel. He'd already taken Fiona. He takes down videos off that channel all the time. Um, he had yesterday. He had only one video. It's this one. And as of now, he still has that one video on there. Oh, except the video in question. Except the video in question. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. She's saying that he's taken them all down except for the for the video um, that, that's disputed. And I'm saying, no, no, that's the way it has always been. Like, if you'd looked on his channel a week ago, he would have had no videos. And then yesterday he put up, or I guess it was nine hours ago, he put up this video. Oh. And so now he has exactly one video as he has. So nine hours ago, he didn't have any videos. Now he has one video. He still has the same video. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He didn't take anything down. Oh, oh uh, Hawk Tyke, you can't see the side check, can you? I can in a minute, I suppose. Just hang on. Okay, because there's there's a message in the side chat for you. Oh, oh well, he removed the hangout. Where, he removed the hangout where he threatened to flat mass flag people. That's fine. I have that downloaded. I can upload that private. Oh yeah. Well, he took it. He took it down. Yeah. Well, he did. Well, he thought, didn't do thought, anything wrong. Yeah. But that's not a big deal. I have a copy of it. I can say you're allowed to upload private to send to to uh to YouTube for evidence. You're damn right. I will. That's funny. One, the first nice time scared. I see any indication I'm flagged from anybody, he, he, I will have a coordinated effort um, to, to substantiate my claim of harassment on him. Whoa. Yes. Do double hawk die here. And that's on yeah, his main don't... channel. I'm not going yeah, for it. Need... Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, whatever's in the side chat for me, you can show me now, but it doesn't actually reload the old side chat comments. You have oh. to repaste it. Oh. I'll, I copy and paste it. It's from Mithridates. He said, "Hog time. When are we going to have our special time together after after hours, late at night, when everybody else is asleep, with some wine and some cheese, some night, wine, wine, wine and cheese, and some uh, some Marvin Gaye? No, some bourbon. 
There you go. That's what, yeah, you're from Alabama. Dragnaut, I may, I may healing. Dragnaut, I may have a, a, a proposal for this, what you are going to do. I propose to start with uh, the principle of the dose, uh, the dose is the poison. Just hmm. to start with that, to start with that, because that's very important. That is very important with understanding how medicine works. You know, you could do a, you could do a hangout. You could do a video on uh, how things like, um, um, uh, oh my God, uh, not hemlock. What's the other really popular cyanide? How cyanide affects the uh, complex four and the uh, cytochrome C complex. Well, uh, here's I mean, like here's what I was. Y'all want to know how it does that? So, I, I wanted I wanted to go over uh, as kind of a, a pet peeve of mine when we talk about Ronnie and and. Uh, accuracy versus precision. That's something that was drilled into me very early on. In that, um, one of the th one of the issues with uh, just kind of willy nilly saying, "Oh well, is this like this close enough?" I can't remember the stereoisomer, but it was it, there's there's two molecules. One is a stereoisomer, the other, and one is a one is a cancer treatment, the other is a poison. And there, I can't remember what it is. But I wanted to use that as an example of why we value precision and not just accuracy uh, when we talk about this, and why um, why one is a poison and why one is you know uh, works for treating cancer. You know the 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 biochem behind that. But I don't want to get too too technical in it. See, I I know very different uses. See, when I think about accuracy and precision, I I, I use that whole dartboard analogy, right? So if you're shooting right in the center, you have high accuracy and you have high precision. If you that's your grouping, right? Your grouping is right there, tight in the middle. Now, if you like the triple twenty, if you have a tight grouping there, right? You got all twenties, right? You have high precision because you have a proper grouping, but you're way off the bullseye, so you have low accuracy, right? What you just mentioned was chirality, right? Left-handed and right-handed. Yeah, maybe I want to say that's it. I don't. It's been a little while. What's the difference between chirality and tonomer and stoichiometry? To me, they all seem to be used interchangeably. If you want, I'm not sure where you're going with that example, uh, Drag, like how that's illustrated. But I mean, because I know you're kind of giving it a short summary, but there there is a super famous example of uh, of cisplatin that was like, uh, and this is old. Like, I mean, chemists were able to to make this stuff like, ah, oh, shit, it's at the latest, the early 20th century. It might even be earlier than that. But that's that's sort of a famous uh, textbook example of a of uh, where one one isomer does one thing and the other one. I mean, I, they're, they're both poisons. Like, I'm not going to say that if you ever get yourself near some cisplatin, you want to get away from it. It doesn't matter which isomer it is; it's both bad for you. But one of them is sort of more selectively bad for uh, for treating cancers that happen in membranes. Uh, I mean, I don't even know if it's used anymore. To be honest with you, it may be that. Like cancer. if I. Like I, I can't remember it. Like I said, I, I'm just going off of memory. And maybe I shouldn't have used uh, precision versus accuracy. Maybe I should have just kind of uh, stated as this is why we value being precise. Maybe yeah, I should have just kind of left it at that. It's with your grouping and how much you are from your target. Like if you have, yeah. if you have no precision, you have no accuracy. You have just have data points everywhere, right? There's all over the place. But if I have something gently grouped, kind of around the center. Then I am pretty being pretty accurate, but my precision sucks. Right. So there is there's a trade off there. I mean, you could be high accurate, high precision, you could be low accurate, low precision. It, it really depends on your grouping and where that grouping is located um, in your in your data set. So I do remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a, there's another pretty famous one that uh, because it had some legal consequences, but uh, cocaine when it's uh, there's a there's a way of synthesizing cocaine, but then you end up getting stereoisomers, and one of them is just useless, like it 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 does nothing. And I think there's one other they famous stereo. So cheap. It, well, yeah, it's why you think it'd be cheaper. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's, it, it does That's nothing. And it's a legally questionable because it's, it, is, it is the same um, chemical. It's just a stereoisomer of it. So if you make illegal the possession of the chemical, then it would be illegal to possess this chemical. But if you classify it as a drug and say it's illegal to possess that drug, then it wouldn't be illegal because it doesn't fit the definition of a drug. It's right. you know it'd be like it would be like defining sand as a drug, right? So it's a weird. And there's one other famous example that was reasonably well known in the '80s, and then like the people distance themselves. The no, no, no. Um, the minimum. Ah, bugger. 
those remember? potato chips. Olestra, Olestra, that's it. Olestra. So remember oh, Walmart? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was Olestra. famous. And I remember, and, 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 and like it just disappeared all of a sudden. And then last that like, reappeared was Homer went into the Quickie Mart and he says, uh, "Yeah, do you have any of those potato chips that give you diarrhea? Time for a little spring <laughs> yeah. cleaning." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause it, was, it was like supposed to be like fat free <laughs> shit, right? You know, and so it, yeah. it was supposed to be like Olestra. The, the, the well, it, it, it is a fat. It's, it it's a fat. fat. But, but and, and here's a weird thing about it. Fats are nutrients. When people talk about, well, you need a good nutritious meal. Well, fats are nutrients. Sugars are nutrients. But this is an example of a non-nutritive nutritive fat. So basically it's a fat, like, but it's not a nutrient styrofoam. because it, does, it doesn't work nutritionally. You might as well eat styrofoam. But it does, work, it does work chemically in helping food pass through, and then it doesn't enter. Oh, wait a minute. It's not. Oh, I, oh, I'm got, oh my God, did I just do that? It's not because it's a stereoisomer. It's because the molecule is too big to be absorbed. Oh, bugger, I should look this up and make sure I've got it right. Um, because, oh, and you know why it has to be. I'm sorry, it's not a stereoisomer. It's, it's got to do with molecule size because it has the flavor of fat. So it's actually able to interact with your taste receptors and it presents to your flavor receptors as fat. So that means it does it. And, and, and the, the wrong-handed fats actually don't taste like fat. Um, they have the same texture, but they don't have the taste. And so you feel like really you're, you're giving yourself a coronary, but you're actually not. Holy right. shit! I, but it, I just looked but it this just, up. It just passes through. So I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not a stereoisomer. That has to do with uh, with molecule size. Oh, but yeah, when yeah. it gets into the intestines, it then can't be absorbed. But it still serves as a function as fat. So it it tends to be a solvent. And all that happens is not only does it go straight through, but everything that's dissolved in it goes straight through, and it ends up giving people profound diarrhea. So not real popular anymore. Wow. I mean, not, anyway, not, not a stereo. Did they notice that in the up. testing of it? I mean, they, they didn't like, see, hey, you know, we have any, uh, you know, a lot of people with, um, you know, you know, I'm, you know what? I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the problem here. And I think I've got one in my cupboard. Did I finish it yesterday? I have a sack of uh, all dressed. We're talking about all dressed chips. I uh, know they're gone. Either I got in them or wife, my wife got in them last night. We love our all dressed chips here in Canada. If you look on the, on the nutrition information on the side of a sack of potato chips, it's going to tell you how many grams of salt, how many grams of fat per serving. Well, a serving is something like 11 grams or some ridiculous amount, whoever eats that little. What they didn't really anticipate people were going to do was, you know, people who were trying to lose weight and didn't want to have fat, they didn't think that people were going to eat a large quantity of them. But of course, you know what human beings are like. They're going to get the sack of potato chips and they're going to be like, oh, these are the fat free ones. I can usually eat a family sized bag in one sitting anyway. <laughs> and, rah, 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 rah. and they ate a ridiculous quantity of it. So on testing, they knew when they tested this thing that it would produce stool softening and at larger quantities would produce diarrhea. But all they did is they put on the bag, please don't eat more than a regular serving. Yeah. And they people just ate more anyway. And they... they didn't tell me what happened if you actually do. I've had, you know, I've never actually seen a bag. The only reason I even know about this is because it appeared in the literature when this was all going on, and second, because of the Simpsons episode. But to be honest with you, I've actually never seen it on the shelves in the stores. I remember you know, it. I remember you... commercials for it. I remember something, you know, you know, with with Alestra, but I I didn't remember what it was because I mean, all I remember that's still around still is I use a, 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 a aspartame, right? That the salt, oh, that sugar substitute, aspartame or aspartame, whatever the hell it's called. I like that shit though. Nutrisweet. Yeah. Well, well, that That's aspartame good. was was licensed in both countries. I don't know if Alestra was ever allowed in Canada. I'd have to look it up and see. You remember that that our our uh, food and safety, I forget what they're called. Oh my goodness, uh, it, it's Health Canada now. And then there's the food. What the hell is it called? The, the food agency. Anyway, they quite often used to take. Um, oh well, that's okay. The American FDA approved this, so. Um, you know, it's it's probably okay for us to approve, and we don't do that anymore after the whole thalidomide thing. Um, we don't do that anymore, and I don't know if Alestra ever got uh, approved for for sale and for retail sale in Canada. Um, I just I can just tell you I've never seen it. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Well, Dragon, well, have you seen what I wrote in the internal chat? Uh, okay, I'm looking at it now. Did you do? Just FYI, FYI, so um. Yeah, he did. He did DMCA me. Um, I just got the notification, which I will fight. Um, but I am actually going to um, type up a letter tonight and submit it for harassment claims. And I am going to to actually go full bore to explain to YouTube that he has harassed my channel. This is a vindictive notification, not in good faith. So I suggest that uh, Reg Rhetorics does the same. Um, his channel will be is has been threatened. So just FYI.
I'll let you guys okay, know that. And, yeah, people do need to capture the live chat, and if there's a way to communicate it to YouTube, make sure they submit it because he announced he was going to do this. So let me tell you one of the consequences. Now, I was waiting. I, let me ask you a question first, then I'll tell you. Um, which so a DMCA claim, a takedown notice would would be against one particular product. In this case, a video, one particular electronic product. Which video did he hit? On uh, the uh, the Ken Hoven. Okay. Um, so one of the consequences often is that you can no longer host Hangouts. So so this is, and, and you actually see, I didn't want to say anything about it at the time because I didn't want to fuel his fire. He put a, Ronnie put a comment in the live chat right, that said, bye-bye Steve's Hangouts or no more Hangouts for Steve or something like that. Mm -hmm. So he expressly said, notice that he's not saying, in my opinion, this, via, this the presence of this video on Steve's channel is a violation of my copyright, mm -hmm. right? He's, he's claiming it's his copyright. He's not saying he's not saying that it's his copyright. He's not saying that he's violated or in any way suffers as a result of you having your channel. He's saying I am going to do something that will end Steve McRae's abilities to host Hangouts on his channel. He made that statement expressly in the side chat. That's his position. That's why he's done it. So um, when you go off air with this Hangout, Steve, um, odds are pretty good um, that you will not be able to open another Hangout. That's fine. Um, so Pew review actually he he says he's recording the chat, right? Yeah, Pew is actually recording uh, quite a bit. I, I went to his channel earlier inadvertently, and um, he uh, he's recording a lot of what goes on in our in my hangouts and your hangouts. So good thing. All right, can you um I'm gonna be ending this one. Can you send me that uh, Pew review? Um, which is fine because uh, all I have to see that what Ronnie doesn't realize is all I have to do is go to my other account. And just send a notification that I'm having a hangout on this one, and everybody just kind of goes to the other one, which is okay because I actually was thinking about starting another channel called The Great Debate. So that's not, you I know, mean, may not be a bad thing. I use things to my advantage, so it's not as critical as he thinks. But I'm going to have a coordinated effort now to make sure that he cannot do this to other people, because he has now gone past the line um, of what is what was something where I given him pretty, you know, rightful chance to take down a video which was a clear violation he has taken it now to harassment he's taken it now to trying to permanently down shut down my channel by any means necessary which is against terms of service and i'm going to make note of this so anyway awesome. guys it's going to be yeah and i'm in for the fight dude i'm i'm perfectly fine with it because i know all you guys support me i know my patreons will be there for me i know that if i have to do a, a, a hangout on a different channel and notify people here that's easy to do and like i said i th think about making another channel anyways um, for 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 you know the great debate, so it's not it's not a big deal. Um, it will be for him when he loses his main channel. So, you know. Well, on that note, just, uh, he can just he can just open another one anyway. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, but it, it serves as an illustration about how people approach the conversation. You remember? Uh, and I'm sorry, it sounds like Greg. Had, but but I, I do want to, I do want this point to kind of be said out loud. Remember that a lot of what they say, uh, especially comes from G-Man is about you know people trying to suppress the other message people trying to you know shut them down and get, and get them not, you know and it's all them we have never taken a step to make it so that um true nope. empiricism or g-man or anybody else on that side we've never once this is taken gonna a haunt, step to haunt him forever he is now known as somebody who will try to shut down channels if they disagree with him he will never yeah. get past this just forever more mar him and i hope you all, yeah. all you people remind him of this every time you see him and, you know, he is going to try to pitch the fact that you had submitted a, t a takedown notice on that mirror copy on, on his True Talk TV channel. He's going to refer to that as you trying to suppress the truth of that message, even though it's a video that you have on your channel. If your channel fine. goes away, it's only because True Empiricism flagged it. Yeah. <laughs> or didn't even flag it. He flagged it. Take takedown notice. Right. And, well, and he's embarking on a flagging campaign. So just remember, it, it, when it comes down to it, who is trying to suppress the other person's message? None of us have taken a step. Yeah, just to FYI, JD, I need to tell JD. But by the way, I don't care how your thing was. I'll ask you later. Um, he did send a DMACA on me. He is threatening to shut down both my channel, your channel, and uh, Reds. So we have the right, video. Hold on, DMCA you? Yes, Ronnie DMCA'd me. For which one, malicious. Sure that he broke the law and you could sue him effectively? Yeah, he maliciously, by retribution, tried to DMCA something that I have a derivative content of. Oh, uh, that's a line he shouldn't have crossed. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. We try to we try to warn him. We we, we give him a good information, but he doesn't want to take it. So, well, you're um, next, JD. So, do, do, do they not know what perjury means? I guess not, well, because it says in there you have to be in good so. faith, right? This was not in good faith. This was vindictive. 
Um, and, you know, he said he wasn't going to do it. And if I, Pew, um, upload, uh, um, you know what? You can make it public. Just tag me on it. I don't care. Not sure what he'd, uh, I don't know why he got to me in the first place. But upload that because I'm going to need that to send to uh, YouTube. Um, and I want everybody, especially JD, pay attention here. JD, uh, Ronnie has crossed the line that uh, most people would not cross. That is to try to shut down a channel that disagrees with him. He needs to be reminded of this all the time. Um, because if he does it to me, he'll do it to other people. And so this is a community effort here now. He has threatened your channel. You, yeah, I, I, and, and I'm not telling you what to do, but if I was you, I would be proactive on this. Because, like I said, he's DMCA to me. He's going to be looking for DMCAs for you. Um, since he has a video, which we have a copy of, we threatened your channel. You can be proactive and say, this person has threatened my channel. He has taken action against other channels. Um, and that's up to you, though. But This is going to be Venom Venom X all over again. Yeah, but they always come out on the losing side. Always. Interesting. Yeah, but again, I can open another channel and just link to this one. It's not a big deal to me. I can't have hangouts on this one, so what? I just tell people go to the other one. And he doesn't and he doesn't realize is I don't get paid by viewers anymore. You know. Also also Zwegnock wants you to mention bio for booty project. The what? We're just gonna use the hashtag. Fuck it. Right, all right, so we'll continue this later on. Um, a Pew review. Yeah, just uh, link that. You can make it public. I don't care. Just, ha just, just message me on it, and I will download it later tonight. I'll do this probably probably later on tonight or after I take a nap or something. I'm really tired. Okay, guys? But thank you oh. for watching. Thank you for standing strong. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, so but on a positive note, listen, this on a positive note. So we're going to try to work on this project. Bio, hashtag bio for booty. Um, all one word, all one hashtag. doesn't matter how you capitalize it. You can tag me, uh, Steve, uh, Fiona, Rational Mind, CRISPR, Nestlig, you know, tag us so we can kind of see. Give us your ideas of what you want. One of the ideas that's already being pitched uh, by Nestlig is to uh, talk about the interaction with certain molecules uh, to the point that it becomes toxic. So we can go over, you know, dosage and uh, how that works. And so uh, be very specific with what you want. A lot of people don't even know what makes a poison a poison, you know. So uh, whatever you're curious about, we'll try and approach it, like Hawktie says, from a top-down perspective, and then give you little bits and pieces, uh, and of course, with some humor, so it's just not dry and it's just brain-frying like some of the other, uh, you know, videos out there. So uh, on that note, folks, And, and Steve, please, please let us know. Uh, make a post and rest of us reshare it. Let us know, yes or no, whether you can open a hangout. I know you're going to take a nap now, but maybe when you're back up or whatever, okay. uh, just try to set up a test hangout and let us know if you get that warning that says, no more hangouts for Steve. And that's oh, a direct it's, quote it's like, from True is, Empiricism. What is it, like two two weeks or th like two months? I don't remember what the hell it is. Is it something like that? Yeah. Well, I it's I believe it's six months. I mean, it depends on the nature of the infraction. But again, if you if the, if the matter is uh, disputed at the copyright office, then they remove the strike in which case you get your ability back anyway. So, so Ronnie's effort, as he put it himself, no more hangouts for Steve. Um, it, it, all it's gonna mean is that you're gonna have uh, approximately a two week break from hosting hangouts. On this channel? On this channel, yeah. Yeah. All right, works for me. All right, guys, ending it. Thank you guys very much. And we'll let's